when appliances break around you. Advice to a beginner witch. As soon as they start practicing, electrical appliances break. They completely burn up. Is there a set of safety measures? Yes, there is. Close off your space, control your energy a little bit. You know, here's what I'll tell you. In our caste, in our community, it is considered that if you start to influence the surrounding environment with your energy, like when the light bulbs break, computers turn off, and so on, it is similar to if you walk into Buckingham Palace with your pants down. It's impolite. You don't know how to control your energy? Don't go into civilized society. Don't go into public if you don't know how, which means you need to learn to control your energy. Just remember that this is not an indication of your strength. It is your weakness. It will quiet down after some time. But for now, your etheric energy, as we would say, is like a small child. Have you ever seen how little children walk when they first learn? Not slowly. They walk fast. You can't catch up to them. So is your etheric energy. It's like a small child. It runs around and acts out. It will go away with age. We've all gone through this until someone explained to us how impolite this is. It's just impolite. It's not polite amongst your own nor amongst strangers. Simply impolite. It speaks to the fact that you don't control your emotions or your etheric energy. What the hell kind of witch are you if you're not able to control yourself? And so we keep practicing while keeping in mind that we need to learn not spill our energy in all possible directions, accidentally killing off anyone who passes by you with your gaze. On the contrary, we learn to accumulate, concentrate the energy for the moment when it's needed, for when you have to gather up in the ball and shoot.